Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As Aero India 2023 is around the corner, we can expect a lot of updates coming related to indigenous fighter jet programs such as AMCA, LCA Mark II, LC Tejas Mark IA and Tapas BH201. DRDO, which is one of the partners of Aero India show, will showcase a variety of indigenously developed technologies and systems. The DRDO Pavilion will showcase over 330 products categorized in 12 zones. The Combat Aircraft and UV Zone will include AMC, LC Mark II, Ted BF, Archer, Tapas UAV, Abhyas, and Swift. The DRDO's participation in the Mega Show will be marked by the flight displays of LC Tejas, LC Tejas PV6. Netra, AWNC, and Tapas UAV. The static display also includes LC Tejas NP1 and NP5, Netra, AWNC. The participation will also be marked by flying the debut of indigenous medium altitude long endurance male class UAV Tapas BH, that is tactical aerial platform for advanced surveillance beyond horizon. The Tapas BH will showcase its capability and cover the static as well as aerial displays on the business days and aerial video will be live streamed throughout the venue. Tapas is DRDO's solution to the tri-services I-star requirements. The UAV is capable of operating at altitudes up to 28,000 feet with an endurance of 18 plus hours, which is a very significant achievement. It is a medium altitude, long endurance male UAV designed to perform intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance missions for Indian Armed Forces. Its mission requirements are to provide continuous wide area coverage and be able to identify small targets. It will be India's first male UAV which will be used in day and night aerial surveillance missions. Tapas or Ustam 2 is comparable in same class with IAI's Heron UAVs. On 7th November 2021, we have seen a test flight of Tapas and during the flight, it demonstrated 8 hours of endurance, 250 km of range and 15,000 of flight altitude using Gagan. Now, this was an important milestone for Tapas program as it has proven two critical technologies, which includes autonomous takeoff and landing and the integration of UAV's flight system with the indigenous Gagan satellite. During the flight, Tapas took off successfully on GPS SBS based auto mode. The GPS aided geo augmented navigation was used for augmenting the accuracy of GPS. Again, on March 2022, it was reported that Tapas has achieved the flight attitude of 27,500 feet and endurance of 18 hours, which is very close to the target set for the UAV. On 7th December 2022, Tapas again completed flight test of 18 hours at aeronautical test range in Chitardurga. The target is to reach an altitude of 30,000 feet with an endurance of 20 hours. As per S. Rajgopal, the project director of Tapas, the UAV is slightly short of the armed forces requirement, but majority of them have been met. Rustam till date has completed more than 110 flights with various mission profiles. Now talking about its capabilities, Tapas has a range of 250 kilometers and is capable of day and night missions. It can carry payloads of up to 350 kilograms and it is designed to perform intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions for armed forces. Its mission requirements are to provide continuous wide area coverage and be able to identify even small targets. HL has started the development of airframes for Tapas with assistance from ADA. Six airframes will be made for the user evaluation trials. As per earlier report by ADA, the flight control system, avionics, data link system, for the first five Tapas drones are ready. As soon as the airframe is ready, these systems can be integrated quickly. The engines have already been ordered. HL team will be trained on the integration 
of first two UAVs by ADA and for the rest of UAVs, HAL will do the integration and ADE will only be a monitoring agency. Now, as per the recent update from Hindu, four prototypes of Tapas are currently flying and fifth production model will be manufactured by HL, which is the production partner and the production model will be ready in five to six months. The entire project for the Tapas program is slated to be completed by 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.